Welcome back, everyone. Today, my dad will be applying the final coat of polyurethane to the church pews. But first, let's listen to my dad's talk about his favorite topic. You ate all the beans? Yeah, they were better than the fucking biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not barbecue, Dad. It's not Mexican. Not, it's Mexican, not, not steakhouse. I like that huge meat on you, man. <laughs> That would be nice to bring one home and then eat it, eat it little by little, you know what I mean? Yeah. A little piece every, every morning with eggs. Two eggs. If food does not come up at least once in conversation in a day, something is absolutely wrong. So, we, as you can see, we are wiping down the pews again. This is to remove the dust created from the sanding the day before. Okay. I cannot do all together clean at the same time. Okay. I have to clean one at a time. And spray it? That was spray. Yeah. It's going to fall on this one. Okay. So I get to come this one, not on this one because it's behind. Okay. On this one, the whole spray is going to fall on top, so I have to clean it when I'm going to spray it. And then the next one, and then the next one. So which one are we going to spray first? This one here? Yeah, yeah. So you want to do this one first? The spray that way, the spray goes that way. Okay. The reason why the spray will go the way he explained is because of the large extractor fan that is on the opposite side of where we are standing. It will actually pull the excess spray onto the other pews. The material he's using today is Minwax fast drying polyurethane in clear satin. It's important that you always mix your material before use. Being a small woodworking shop, any chance for us to save money, no fancy stirring stick here. Any excess wood laying around will do. So what are you looking for there? Like, when, Are you looking for it to make sure, like is there a special color? There's, or? there's a, what makes this please, this thing uh, satin, is a solution in the bottom. Oh, so you're mixing the bottom I solution with the top, because it settles. I don't throw the solution here and it's gonna be flat here, nothing there. Okay. He's going to pour the material through a filter, then thin it using clean strips of VMNP's naphtha. The filter is used to catch any material that is hardened and may potentially clog the holes in the spray nozzle. Thinning the material makes it easier to spray, thus applying a more even coat. And lastly, he adds a fisheye remover. And what's the fisheye for? Fisheye, when you spray, you can see little ice, like separated. That's what the fisheye avoids that. Okay. It doesn't let the material to separate. It keeps it, it keeps it smooth. Okay. Are you looking at the consistency of it? it it's it? supposed to spray, uh, it's supposed to go uh, a certain more way. Runny, more runny. More runny. Not, not, not like, like. Not like syrup. Yeah. See? See? Yeah, okay. It just doesn't go away. There's no measurement. It just doesn't go away. Now that the spray is ready, the final step before applying the last coat is to look for any spots that need to have a final touch-up of color. This is my father's favorite part of the work. To him, this is where the art comes into play. The ability to eyeball a color and instantly mix it together has always fascinated me. Everything is now ready and it's finally time to spray. Spraying any material, be it paint or varnish, is a skill that takes practice. You can see how fast my father is moving. This is to prevent the material from pooling. If you were to go any slower, it would cause the material to run. Here the pew has dried for about 20 minutes. 
this material dries pretty fast and is about 80% done. The satin finish has just a small shine to it. And here you can see what the material looks like just after being sprayed. You can see how bright the shine is, but as it dries, that will start to dull down. The reason we're using polyurethane instead of lacquer is because of the amount of abuse and physical contact that these church pews are going to go through. Lacquer would be better for a piano or any furniture where the wood is not going to have as much physical contact. I think the end product came out amazing. Alright, two more to go. As my dad sprays, I'm following behind him to look for any spots where the material may be running. That way I can lightly wipe away the excess material with a brush. I will leave you with a video of my father spraying the final pew. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and feel free to ask any questions or even leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer them all. Thanks a bunch, everybody. Take care.